Here we have Axial's Exoterra buggy, which is notoriously hard to get a battery in. Um, so I've done a few mods. Um, I had the Axial NVS light system in here. I took that out because it was it was just too big. Um, I did a few wiring changes with the light lighting system and all. But most notably, what I've done is the battery mod in order to get the battery in and out better. So what I've done here is taken a saw, a small hobby saw, um, and I've removed this post. This post is what stops the battery from going in correctly. Generally what you'd have to do is try to slide it in past this and get it in over these hooks in order to kind of get it in there. A lot of people take the upper tray out. Um, but what I've seen done and I liked and I've already done is taking this post and sawed, sawed off and removed it. Uh, pretty simple. All it requires is taking them, removing the bottom, the 16 screws to hold the bottom in, removing the bottom, and and just cutting in a straight line across and what that does is it gives you a much better entry point for your battery also what I've done Wraith has these battery clips that come in, in these rubber gaskets slip over the battery clips well, these battery clips have small knobs on the bottom and what these knobs do I'm not sure. What the knobs do is prevent the the little sliders from coming all the way over. So what I've done is cut the bottom off of this knob to allow allow the piece to fold all the way over, therefore allowing the battery to slide right in. So what these mods allow me to do is to put this battery in much easier so as before where we had the problem here with the support blocking the way now all I have to do is pull one side forward make sure the battery straps are out, tucked out of the way Slip the battery in. That simple. After that, we go in, pull the battery straps down, and connect the battery. Easy. Highly recommended mod for your axial Exoterra buggy. This saves much headache and it actually makes me want to go out and drive the car now because I don't have to fool with the battery for five to ten minutes trying to get it installed. Just to show you how easy it is to get it out. If I can ever get the straps off. So I tuck the straps back in on each side and pull the battery right out. One more time just so you can see it happen again. You know how hard it is to get it in before. So that's made possible just by cutting that one post out and also by cutting just a little bit off of the back 
of this battery clip. That little bit allows the battery clip to fold completely over, giving you that much more clearance. Allowing you to get the battery in and out of this beast much better. So I'm continuing the cleanup of the Exoterra. I've um I've already trimmed the chassis to allow the battery to go in better. I also took the MVS system out because it was bulky in the way and it created too much heat. I put the simple LED system inside the receiver box, ran the wires out, and uh, it's just a lot cleaner in here. All the wires have been tucked into the into the little wire clips and the power switch will be routed through the body so I can reach it externally. I also cut holes into the body so the vent covers would actually be functional and they would have a little bit of intake. So now a minimal amount of air will get through to the ESC in the motor. 